Eight eleven coming up. Our free money question of the day from the Hobiko Law Firm. Give you a chance to win one hundred dollars in cash. Got a good question, I think, for this hour. Not that every hour or every time we ever do it, the questions aren't just brilliant, but I think we have a, a goodie and one that is topical uh, for today. Okay, so Andrew, this is about what solar energy. I'm yeah, seeing big I, I'm seeing more and more of these panels out there, and I know of somebody who has uh, who put. Who, who invested in solar back in like the 1980s and it still works today and it's a huge savings he's got a big old house and it's a huge huge savings on his on his heating bill in the uh, in the winter time and, and I'm, I'm seeing a lot of uh, almost whole fields of solar panels pop up near Rome and uh, mm, yeah. other areas around this one in Clinton too Ryan uh, online right now is Ryan Calasina do I say that properly Ryan that is correct good job okay well uh, the rest <laughs> of the interview is going to blow but at least okay. I got your name right <laughs> uh, I'll do my best for you uh, listen um, I, we're just saying we're seeing these solar panels popping up all over the place yeah, you know, it's uh, with the uh, with the incentives that are available in in New York State, it's uh, it's it's becoming more and more viable for for everybody. And and as prices come down, um, we're seeing a lot more of them go up. And companies like ours are are, are growing um, rapidly right now. Now, your company is what? Is it Solar Liberty? Is that what it's called? Yep, Solar okay. Liberty. We're out of out of Buffalo, New York. We're actually the the, the state's uh, largest solar right. installer. Um, and been in business for about 13 years now, and, and there's more and more people popping up every day that are uh, that are starting to get into this uh, into this industry. I wanted I want to get a solar. I want to do solar for heating my pool. They do they have pool heaters for that, that are solar. They do. It's a it's a little bit different of a technology. So what oh. we do is is is, uh, is considered photovoltaics or, or solar electricity. So oh, we okay. we produce solar for for your home through the panels that we use. Um, there is a different technology that'll that'll heat the water in your pool, um, and uh, and I've tried everything. Just runs I, through tubes and pumps yeah. it back into your, into your and water. I, and I've tried that to take the black tubes and like run them all over the place and. Hope the sun shines down on them and heat up the water. But I don't know. <laughs> that's right. Well, uh, luckily we only swim for half the year or for yeah. a few months out of the year when it's when it's warm out. Well, I want to I want to swim twelve months out of the year. That's why I want to go solar. <laughs> Turn his uh, pool uh, into a hot tub place for you. <laughs> yeah. So um, anyway, for your house, obviously this is a uh, this. What do you, what what does somebody save on a on a monthly bill? How much do you save? What kind of percentage? You know what? It, it, it really ranges, and it all depends on, on somebody's very specific uh, usage. So everybody's got different habits and different tendencies. So um, depending on how much uh, electricity somebody uses over the course of the year um, will determine how many panels they need and if we can fit that on their roof or uh, if, they, if they want a ground-mounted system, we can always put it on the ground as well. So right. uh, typically we like to, to – to, we reach for a hundred percent of your annual usage, but there's a, most of our systems out there cover probably fifty to to eighty percent. Right. And do people buy the panels or do they lease the panels? I know that there are differences in how if they buy them, how expensive are they? Yeah, I mean it's a it's a it's obviously two different options there for you. In in typically at least in 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 the Buffalo or Western New York area, um, our electric prices are so low, and, and you probably have com- I mean comparable electric rates that typically a, a lease is really going to make sense more so for for people who aren't able to take advantage of the of the tax credits that are available. Um, so we see a, a, an average size system, and again, it, it really ranges for for everybody individually or specifically for their for their home and their usage. But you know, once all the incentives are calculated in there, it's it's typically somewhere between maybe five and ten thousand dollars. But again, there's there's outliers depending on on how much you're actually using. What, once you've had them installed, let's say you put them on your roof or your backyard, how long do they last for? Where they're you know converting the sun's energy into energy that you can use in your home. Sure, they're uh, you know everything that we're using and, and kind of the industry standard out there is a 25 year power production warranty, okay. um, and that that states that after 25 years the panel's still producing at at least 80 percent of what it was doing on day one. Mm. Um, what we're really seeing um, is that after 25 years our panels are still going to be somewhere about 90 to 93 uh, percent of what they were doing on day one. So they really should last you know maybe 40 years. Wow. You know, that, that's great that after that long they can still produce uh, at that capacity. In 25 years, where do you think we're going to be? Are you going to have like a little, just this little box that soaks up all the sun and powers the whole neighborhood? 
It's funny because that's a I mean, it's a question that always comes up, and it, it's something that we're kind of unsure of. You know, we've been we've kind of been using the same technology for the past thirty years, and it's continued to to advance and, and get more efficient and higher wattages in the in the panels and stuff like that. But um, you know, typically the the new technologies that 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 come out are 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 usually pretty expensive and yeah. maybe cost prohibitive. So yeah. a lot of them don't really make it to, to market. And if they do, um, the, again, they're, they're kind of cost prohibitive. So we'll see. You know, I, I think that that's what everybody's expecting is, you know, the, for the, something the size of your cell phone can now right, power your technologies, house. Right, yeah. Um, yeah. We'll, we'll, have to, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, what about, somebody's asking here about a power purchase agreement, uh, PPA. Yeah. What, what is that about? And it's a, is that for municipalities, school districts, that sort of thing? You know what? There's a, we actually have a, a residential PPA program right now, um, and, and so a power purchase agreement is is really, you know, kind of comparable to a lease. You know, you're not paying anything, any initial cost to have the system installed. Instead, you're just paying for the the power that it produces. So it. we're okay. building kilowatt hours. So for every kilowatt hour that that the system produces, the financing company charges you a rate that's less than what the utility okay. company is charging yeah. you. Uh, so. and, and, and this is from Jim Zecca, who apparently they, uh, you guys put, uh, something in a uh, solar end down in, in Madison County, yeah. uh, that they, uh, they did a project down there. Um, asking, uh, saying that New York state generates more, uh, solar energy than the entire country of Germany. Um, is that true? And, and uh, that's, oh. I guess that's pretty impressive. Yeah, we'll clarify that. They have, they definitely have a lot more solar installed than we do. We just happen to have better. I guess we have more sunlight hours during the year, so we have we Got have it. better capabilities of producing more than they do. Um, they just have it on every building uh, and, that, and, that they can get it on. And for us, um, you know, I hate to say it, but we're we seem to be known, especially in this Mohawk Valley region, as an area that just doesn't get a lot of sunshine. We have fewer sunshine days. Uh, than than most places. So yeah, how, and, how does that? It, it, go ahead. It, that comes up all the time, and and that's a, a big hump we have to get over here as well. Um, but really, our our summer months are so good, and the sun is is you know it's not too hot, so the panels still produce very efficiently. Um, and, and really, what what makes solar great in New York are the incentives that are available. So okay. you'll right. note you'll you'll see that that we have more installed in New York than Florida does. Um, which doesn't make sense, I guess, if you think about it that right, way. Right, right. Um, but our incentives are so good, and theirs aren't. So right. and so people are, are more apt to do it here. I don't know if you know this, uh, but, uh, Ryan, uh, the sun hasn't – we haven't seen the sun here in almost three weeks. It <laughs> is <laughs> terrible. I mean, uh, we are so sunshine-deprived. It is terrible. Uh, um, that's probably not true, but we kind of think that is the case. But I think it's, it is true that we are want, we're an area that gets less sunshine than – so many other places around the country. Yeah, and you know, and that's not something that that, that we try to mislead people on. You know, yeah. we're obviously not getting as as much sun as they are in California, or, or our systems aren't producing like theirs are. Um, but to come up with a, a an estimate of how much a specific system is going to produce, yeah. we use thirty years of average sunlight data. So we know specifically to your zip code um, well, how much sunlight you can expect, um, you know, month to month and throughout the year, and that gives us what that gives us our estimates of how much a a specific, a specific system. Okay. Okay. All right. For you. All right uh, how do people get in touch with you guys? Um, you can. Uh, I can give you our eight hundred number. We're again. We're, we've yeah. got offices in mm-hmm. in Albany and, and in Rochester now. Um, our eight hundred number is eight six six eight zero renew. Okay, uh, people around here, you got to make sure that you uh, you you put the one in front of that because there's an eight six six exchange here. So okay. whenever the when those eight six six numbers pop up, it becomes a a problem for some people. So you want to make one eight six six, obviously. So, okay. Yep, one, All right. Okay. So yeah, uh, feel free to give us a call. We do, you know, obviously do free quotes and right. um, we'll let you know if, if your, if your home works for you. All right, Ryan, thanks for the time. We appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for having okay. me on. Have a Here, good day. You too. Here's Christine with an update. 821. Good morning. Good morning. Top U.S. conservatives considering a third-party candidate to run against Donald Trump. SeaWorld says the generation of killer whales it currently has will be the last ever enclosed at its parks. And almost 2,000 water systems in the United States have excessive levels of lead, according to USA Today. We have sun and clouds out there right now. It's going to warm up to near 60 degrees again today. Scattered thunderstorms possible. And then we cool off tonight down to the 30s tomorrow. 
rain and maybe some snow showers possible with the highs not getting out of the 30s tomorrow. Currently, it's partly cloudy. 40 degrees at WIBX.